Hi, my name is Caffrey. I'll be talking about DALI reps or also known as Laflu Milas. I'm going to go over the patient consultation points. Side effects may include diarrhea, nausea, headache, back pain, influenza, insomnia, dizziness, and decreased appetite. We want to instruct patients to immediately report any new or worsening insomnia, depression, anxiety, suicidal ideation, or any unusual changes in behavior. Also, we want to advise patients to immediately report unexplained or significant weight loss. And lastly, uh, consult the patient that this drug is not a bronchodilator. It is not indicated for acute bronchospasm. So, Daily Reps has some interesting introduction. It was FDA approved on February 28th of 2011 and was developed by AstraZeneca. The generic version has been released by Camber Pharmaceutical on October 20th of 2022. During the patent protection period, AstraZeneca brought in a revenue of uh, two seventeen millions of dollars in the year of 2020. And out of those sales, USO, which comprised about 88% of the global total, was increased by 3% to uh, $190 million. So Dalivirus and his any active metabolite um, selectively inhibit the phosphodiesterase 4, also known as PDE4, a major cyclic AMP metabolizing enzyme in the lung tissue. However, the specific mechanism of formulas activity in COPD is not very well known, but it is thought that to be associated with increased level of intracellular cyclic AMP in the lung cell, which in theory reduces the neutrophil and isonephil cell counts in the lungs. The limitation of use I want to mention about is that Dataset is not a bronchodilator and it's not indicated for the relief of acute bronchospasm. The indication for this medication is for COPD, also known as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So the dosages. For both chronic bronchitis or COPD, the initial dose is 250 micrograms by mouth once daily for four weeks with or without flu. Afterwards, which is the maintenance dose, is 500 micrograms by mouth once daily with or without flu. Now, the contraindication. That reps is contraindicated in patients with moderate to severe liver impairment or anything that's categorized under child proof uh, B or C. So there are about eight adverse events if we want to monitor the patient. First one is diarrhea. Second one is any weight decrease or decrease in appetite. Third one is nausea. Fourth is headache. Fifth is back pain. Sixth is influenza. Seven is insomnia. Eight is dizziness. So the drug interaction. So this patient is pretty important. So we want to make sure the patient um, is not using any inhibitors that include CYP3A4 or dual inhibitors of CYP3A4 or CYP1A2. A sample for those will be erythromycin, catarcazole, fibrosamine, anoxacin, and simetinine. This will increase the flumilase systemic exposure and may result in an increased adverse reaction.